welcome back to our channel where we bring you the latest news and updates from around the globe. First up is news about horticulture in India. The Department of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare has reported a significant uptick in horticulture area and production over recent years. The sector's expansion from 28.04 million hectares in 2021-22 to 28.77 million hectares in 2023-24 reflects its robust growth trajectory. Fruit production reached 110.21 million tonnes in 2022-23, buoyed by substantial increases in various fruits. Similarly, vegetable production surged to 212.55 million tonnes in 2022-23, indicating positive momentum. The first advance estimates for 2023-24 anticipate continued growth, particularly in fruit and vegetable production, underscoring the sector's resilience and potential for further development. Next, we have Article 371. During discussions with Ladakh representatives, Union Home Minister Amit Shah proposed extending Article 371-like safeguards to the region. Article 371 and its subsequent sections offer special provisions for specific states, ensuring representation for particular religious and social groups while granting autonomy over their internal affairs. These provisions aim to address local concerns related to jobs, land and culture, safeguarding the interests of Ladakh's population. While Ladakh's inclusion under the sixth schedule was ruled out, Article 37.1, like protections, offer a viable alternative to ensure local representation and participation. In the long news section, the last we have is Anthropocene. The proposed declaration of the Anthropocene, or the Human Epoch, faced rejection by the Sub-Commission on Quaternary Stratigraphy. Despite this setback, the concept remains relevant, highlighting humanity's profound impact on Earth's ecological trajectory. Coined in 2000, the term Anthropocene suggests a new geological epoch defined by significant human activities. However, concerns over insufficient evidence and criteria for defining a new epoch led to the rejection of the proposal. Nonetheless, the concept underscores the need to acknowledge and address humanity's role in shaping the planet's future. In the short news section, first we have International Women's Day. Celebrated annually on March 8th, International Women's Day acknowledges women's social, economic, cultural and political achievements. This year's theme, Invest in Women. Accelerate Progress focuses on economic empowerment. The day originated from a 1909 event in the US and was later proposed internationally by Clara Zetkin in 1910. Next, we have is the National Creators Award. The National Creators Award, presented by the Indian Prime Minister, recognizes digital creators and influencers across diverse domains. With 23 winners, including international creators, it celebrates creativity in storytelling, social change advocacy, education, and gaming, emphasizing its potential to drive positive change. Thirdly, we see the Sahityotsav, Sahityotsav organized by Sahitya Akademi, India's largest literature festival, honors the Academy's 70th anniversary. It includes the Sahitya Akademi Awards presentation, showcasing outstanding literary works in various Indian languages. Renowned figures like Pratibha Rai and Golzar will grace the festival with their presence, enriching literary and cultural discourse. The person in news today is Govind Balav Pant. Govind Balav Pant, an eminent freedom fighter and the first chief minister of Uttar Pradesh, played a pivotal role in India's political landscape. His contributions include advocating for linguistic states, promoting Hindi as an official language and championing social causes like cottage industries. He received the Bharat Ratna in 1957. In the places in news today, we have Angola. Facing challenges in combating food insecurity, Angola's green harvests are projected to be slightly below average. Rich in natural resources like oil, diamonds and minerals, Angola's geography features the highest point, Mount Moko, and major rivers like the Kwanzaa. With a global hunger index score of 25.9, Angola's hunger level remains serious. That wraps up our coverage for the day. Thanks for joining us. If you found the video insightful, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more such insightful content. You can also download the PDF of this article from the link given in the description below. Stay informed and stay engaged in these critical issues.